10 fingers, 10 toes. Those words are music to the ears of brand new parents in the delivery room. Most of us are born with and hang on to all those digits and little piggies that may or may not have gone to market. But unfortunately, that isn't always the case. Now there are inventors creating fingers to clip to help with the grip. Here's Jax Tranquita to explain. For somebody who's lost fingers through traumatic injury, trying to perform tasks like dialing a telephone number or taking notes becomes an essential and emotional exercise. At a company called Naked Prosthetics, they understand that these actions are challenging for someone who has experienced an amputation, and their mission is to positively impact lives by providing high quality finger prostheses. Bob Thompson is the CEO of Naked Prosthetics. I visited their headquarters in Olympia, Washington to learn more. A lot of people think of prosthetics and they think of limbs and arms, but digital prosthetics is a huge need for yeah, a lot of people. It is. Finger amputation is actually the most common single amputation out there. So there's over 80,000 finger amputees every year, year over year in the United States alone. The company's work began more than 10 years ago with an idea by founder Colin McDuff, who after losing a finger in an accident, built a prototype out of bicycle parts and shared the idea with his friend Bob Thompson. One of the things that I really enjoy is going through the design process. It's not gonna look like a finger, so we try and make it look like a cool accessory. Every amputation is different. The scarring is different, the amount of mobility they have. So we build a custom prosthesis because if it's not within one millimeter of the actual anatomical finger, then the patients won't adopt it. I sat down with Bob to take a closer look at how each design functions in concert with human anatomy. What is the learning curve when someone gets their personalized device? Because those motor pathways are already in your brain, when you put it on, the articulation is already there. It moves the same way that your finger does. Bob showed me four different prostheses, starting with the PIP driver named for the joint that drives the prosthetic. What you get is you get a fully articulating prosthesis. Yeah. Another model is the oh, MCP yeah. driver. Put your hand out and just feel that. Wow, it's got strength. It's yeah, really strong, sure. yeah, yeah. They also make a thumb driver like this. You get opposition mm -hmm. for each finger. It also has this really grippy yeah. surface so you can pick up you know, whatever it is. Yeah. There's even a model that works without a joint to drive it, the grip lock. Can you run us through some of the things that one of these devices allows someone to do. Things like tying your shoelaces, buttoning a shirt, taking the top off a bottle, picking up a cup, picking up a can. Small tasks around the house or around the office that become normal again. The company makes prostheses designed for hard work, like construction, and also secondary designs for dress occasions, like going out for dinner. What does it feel like for you to see people get to be themselves again? Yeah, that's, it's wonderful. I mean, that's the best part of my job, by far. 